Hey, someone's writing messages next to me. What'd it say? No, that's resting. Damn it! Tell me how the auto is. Before I move on. Because now is a great time to keep up on, uh... On stuff. Audio's good? Okay, I changed the audio settings because I'm trying to figure out how to get my FPS to be better in games. Because right now I have 17, 15 FPS, and I'm not even in a battle. So, yeah, you can imagine that I'd want to try out things to make the game run better. And I figured if I'm running the audio at, like, maximum quality, maybe that's something that, that lags me. Yeah, so... Doing not not so good on that department, but it doesn't matter. Gonna go ahead and climb up here. Yeah, 15 FPS. And you see my you see my computer parts down below. I really don't understand like what the hell causes my FPS to be like this. I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna try overclocking eventually once I figure that out. So yeah. Um I could try reducing the quality. All I know is that many times in the past I've reduced the quality and my FPS was still the same. So I don't I don't know what's up with that. Um, I might try changing the resolution of the game, but right now because I, I just recently installed the DS fix, which kind of puts some stuff. So you can kind of see some cool things you never you wouldn't have seen otherwise, like uh, ambient occlusion. You can see it right there on that little thing right there. Let me just pull this out first person or, or over the shoulder. Actually, it's gone now. Huh? Zooming in over the shoulder takes away ambient occlusion. I didn't know that. Huh. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, it adds in some cool things, makes some things better. I also have better textures in some places. Some places, not all of them. Yeah. Alright. So, let's see. Let me just do this. Minimize some stuff. Turn down the graphics. Uh, and check out my equipment because I have done a little bit of progress on this character because as you guys, some of you guys know from the other stream, I crashed and I lost my save. So I came back through the game, spent a whole morning uh, getting back up to where I was and I went into the forest area and got the elite armor, um, the elite knight armor and the wolf ring. Now I didn't take on the boss there, but I did kill the two gargoyles that are on top of the bell tower. Because they were annoying as fuck, and I just wanted to deal with them. I lost, like, three humanities, and I raged very hard for a while. But it's okay. I haven't really died all that much since. And we're going to go ahead and kill this dragon who is just chilling up here. But first, we're going to let him kill all these guys. All right. And I'm going to just fucking run across the bridge. <laughs> yeah! Punk, what's up? Okay, so the way you have to do this is exploit how bad he is at everything in life. Okay, and let the attacks begin. He's going to sit there and do his little fire attack on the side of the bridge, and we're going to run. Uh-oh. Whoopsie. Run into the safe spot. With this safe spot, he's not going to really be able to hit us all that much unless I, unless I mess up and get into the middle of the bridge. All right, that's what we want to do. We want to stay there because we don't take all that much damage at this spot as we attack his foot and we keep on running and I'm actually going to take a swig of my Estus flask and keep on attacking his leg. Also, watch out for death. Okay, there we go. He's going to keep on doing his fire and we are not going to get hit by it. I learned this last night and it was a pretty amazing time killing him. Um, I do want to note that I have played a little bit further. I, this is a backup save because I knew I wanted to stream me killing this dragon. <laughs> so I know what's up in some of the places. Not a whole lot, but only in some. And this is working out a lot better than the way I did it before. Wow, because the dragon is just like doing this whole crap where he, he keeps on going up into the air and trying to attack me with the fire. Uh-oh. Here you go. He's going to hop back. And we're just gonna head down the stairs. Because we're not we're not even gonna deal with this bullshit. We're gonna let him walk back to his tower and then bring him down, and we're gonna keep on doing that attack. And we're gonna go ahead and look into the game. 
Um, let's see. This dragon obviously did not attend Harvard. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> he's just, he's not the brightest of dragons. Um, he just, he just stops someplace, and I think that's how a lot of people take on a good majority of the enemy, all the big enemies in this game. They just exploit them for their, uh, really big size, and therefore, non-ability to really cover a good portion of their combat area. I know I saw, uh, some dudes take on a dragon, and it was pretty much, another dragon, it was pretty much the same thing. They went up in front of him, and the dragon's attacks would actually, um, knock him down out of the way of the rest of the attacks. And I was like, are you serious? This fucking dragon knocks you down without hurting you. It's, it's, it's like it slightly pushes you. Uh-oh. Holy Jesus. Gotta watch out for that. Now, we do have the dragon's health at a low, low amount. I'm gonna go ahead and get some water and drink. Alright, drink the water. And I'm actually gonna unequip my shield. I don't know why I have it equipped. And that's a very good point. Someone says I could two hand. So we'll try that out. But first, across the ridge, leap across. You don't have to leap across, you can literally just run. But I feel a little bit safer leaping, you know? I don't know. Just that added extra little amount is good. Oh shit. I just did the heavy attack with my two-handed and I need to watch out for that because I don't want to lose my weapon oh no okay he's gonna do the fire and I'm gonna hit him right in his foot yeah goodbye dragon ha <laughs> ha Fantastic. So, there he goes. He's going to give us 2,000, uh, 2, 10,000 souls, which is a fairly good amount. And we're going to head across this bridge, which actually opens up a nice little shortcut around this area right over here. You can see how it kind of goes to the area that had the boar. So, we're going to press this lever. And there we go. And that's actually going to let us um, get back to the forest area when we need to. But first I'm going to go ahead and get into this bonfire, light it up, and bam. Okay, time to level up. See, oh, whoa, whoa, what? Whoops. Level up. Oh, wait, how, what's my equipment like? Uh, Drake Sword. Eh, we'll pair the Drake Sword before I spend any more points. And now we'll level up. Um, I like, I, I, last time I put a whole bunch of points in Vitality. I think this is really, really nice. Maybe it's a bit overkill. I don't really need 900 health, but it's a, I, I like 900 health. So we're going to go ahead and put that on because um, that's what I have on my other guy, and that's pretty fun. And now we have to deal with all these dudes, but first I'm going to equip my heater shield again right here, and bam. Now I was looking at a whole lot of different gameplay options and sorcerers and stuff, and the sorcerer actually looks a little bit fun. Uh, they're a little bit like glass cannons. Like, they can't take all that much damage, but they can also deal out a shitload of damage. I think that's just how sorcerers play out in every game ever, but, yeah, it, it looked interesting. I mean, you saw how I took on the dragon there. You can literally take the dragon on from the very get-go of the game if you get, uh, if you take out his tail with the arrow. And then, just do what I did, except are actually good at it and dodge most of his attacks. You can kill him from the very beginning of the game, and that is a very, very interesting concept. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and run across this bridge because we already have the basement key, which I did not realize, and we're going to head downwards into the lower Berg area. Okay, so we're going to read this message, imminent beanpole. I don't know what that means, by the way. I see that in a lot of different areas. Maybe it just means I can do this. Is this beanpoling going down the ladder in a really quick way? Because this is a really long ladder. Alrighty. I'm uh, going to keep on looking at the chat. Gom had bad timing. Everyone's going to bed. I know everyone's going to bed. The point is that I'm fixing my sleeping schedule because my sleeping schedule is so bad. If my sleeping schedule was good, I'd be going to sleep right now, you know? Okay. So, but before we go anywhere, I'm going to go ahead and go up the staircase because there is a shortcut right up here towards the central area, which I'm actually going to go ahead and use as soon as I take out these guys. There we go. Hello. Goodbye. 
Now I'm a little bit tempted to kindle, but I'm not sure if I have if I'm a human or not right now. Uh, let me check. Nope, I am currently not a human. I'm an undead guy. I'm tempted to just uh, become human and then kindle, because having ten Estus flags is pretty good. Okay, so here's our shortcut. I was actually gonna run across the bridge, but should I? Nah, nah. Fuck it. We're gonna go. We're gonna go back down. Whoa! Don't wanna fall off now. Being pole means long skinny guy. Oh god, what if Gom falls asleep while playing? Uh, Gom drags people down to horrible sleep schedules with them. Yeah, he, <laughs> it's my fault. There are some people with bad sleeping right now. Okay, all right, let's go down this bridge. This stream is basically mostly for people who are like late staying up at night and foreigners who are like getting up in the morning. So yay for them! Yo oh, shit. And there's dra dragons. What the f- Dogs. There are evil attack dogs. That's what I wanted to say. Um, I don't know what the icon that shows up there is for, but I'm pretty sure it just means I'm going to have a bad time. <laughs> yeah. And I'm going to go ahead and get this guy out of here. I believe it's this door, actually. Somebody. Please let me out of here. Somebody. Anybody. Help me. Unlock the door. Damn. Um, how did this ever happen? I can't, I can't open the door while you're talking. There you go. All right, so you do need the residence key from the merchant, which is like a thousand, and we're gonna just roll into this so we can get this guy's pillaging, or we can pillage this corpse, which will give us a sorcerer hat, sorcerer, well, he'll give us the sorcerer set. So if you ever wanna go into the magic class, this is where you wanna go, and this guy will actually sell you magic gear once he goes back to the main camp that you land at. I'm saved. I thought I might never escape. I am Greeks of Vinheim. The sorcerer of the school. I am much obliged for your assistance. Thanks to you, I may now resume my travels. All right. Uh, did he not level up at all? I'm level thirty. Well, actually, I'm level twenty-nine. But yeah, I'm, I, I've been leveling. Okay. So what's going on here? Well, we have down there a twin humanity. So we're gonna go ahead and kill these undead. Dodge their attacks and hope for the best as I end up getting hit, taking fire damage, but that's okay because after all, I did just give myself 200 extra HP. Okay, so we're gonna sit back, whack these two. That's a pretty good way to get them all, let them cluster up together. Otherwise, you're just gonna be trying to take them on one on one and it just doesn't work out all that great. Alright, praise the sun! Let's rate that. Whoops, nope, nope, pray. No, 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 no! Oh! I just used my curse. Oh. That makes me feel bad. Okay. Uh, basically, what the curse does is allow you to take on ghosts in one of the later areas, which I'm actually gonna go to before we proceed into the game a little bit further. But crap. Ugh. Like. The transient, yeah, the transient curse, and and it it it's a bit rare, I guess you could say. So yeah, that's a good idea. I probably will unequip it. Uh, what can I replace it with? Purple moss, just so I can have uh, if I get attacked with poison. Now the funniest thing here is that there's gonna be an ambush right there. Spoiler alert: there's gonna be an ambush right where that guy read a message. Actually, I think I wrote that message. Yeah, but um, there's a blood stain right at this at this spot, and I was like, I wonder how this guy died. And I go over to it, and the doors burst open. I'm like, what? And I just see the guy's soul end up dying in the spot that I was at, and I was like, oh, I guess he died to the ninjas. Okay, ow. Is that bleeding damage, perhaps? Let me check. View status. Bleed. All right. Yep, that is bleeding. So that is uh, a little bit. I'm gonna, gonna avoid that. Hopefully, poison. I know that if you get fully poisoned, you're gonna have a bad day. And I know if you're gonna get fully bleeding, you're gonna have a bad day. And I know if you if you get cursed, you're gonna have a really bad day because it instantly kills you, and it takes away like half of your health permanently until you get the curse removed. So yeah. All right. Damn, Gilm is like a ginger. He took over a thousand souls. Shush, Jammy. 